Hello everyone, welcome back to Life with Aisha, and today we are doing yet another Sneaker Friday. A review of the Nike Waffle Racer 2X. Give you a little background, a little history on the shoe. It is the um, more of a reimagined um, version of the shoe, which the original, like the OG Waffle Racer model came out, I want to say in the 70s. So like, um, I want to say 1977 to be exact. It was created by the co-founder of Nike, who is um, Bill Bowerman, if you know anything about it. Or if you read this book here, uh, where is it? Oh, <laughs> Phil Knight, um, Shoe Dog, which I will be doing a video soon about like different sneaker books and different things like that, but stay tuned. And um, yeah, so that kind of gives you like a history and insight, and it's a lot of other books that you can read, but gives you history and insight of like Nike as a whole, the Nike brand. So this shoe is not like a completely new model. It definitely has a lot of the original one. Um, I also will pop up a picture on either side of me so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But um, let's just get right into the shoe. So first, of course, you know, I want to show you all the box because this is a cool little box and I like it. So it just says Women Nike Waffle Racer 2X and give you a little close up of that. This is a size 8 in women. This one here has like the global map on the box top and right there in the corner you do have a little information. I will read it to you. It just says from Beaverton, Oregon which obviously is the origin of Nike. Um, it says from Beaverton, Oregon. Nike sports shoes have become the preferred shoe of champion athletes all around the world. Can I disagree with that? Like athletes, we always keep trying to improve our performance and we always will. And it just basically has like right here in Oregon basically has exactly where you see the Nike headquarters and it has like a lot of different Nike swooshes around it. So that's pretty cool. On the back of the box, it just has the Nike logo and it has the word swoosh right there and some other words at the bottom. Um, just says Nike Inc. 1 Barrowman Drive, Beaverton, Oregon. Yeah. On the opposite side of the box, you just have Nike logo. You also have the actual word Nike in black script. And across the front of the box, you have the exact same detailing that was on the back of the box. So as you open the box up, it does have this cool like tissue paper. And it's black and white tissue paper and basically it symbolizes the waffle design These shoes were created for women this is basically the women's a uh, version of the original waffle trainer so i've been into pink lately so my last shoe that i showed had pink in it this shoe has pink in it the next shoe i'll show you all next week will have pink in it just bear with me if you're a man watching this and you're really like oh my god i gotta watch a review of pink shoes if you choose to like bear with me okay so this is how the shoe looks i really think it's a nice sleek design waffle shoe in itself if you all remember i got the waffle racer um off-white nikes which i will pull up in a moment just to show you the compare and contrast of it so it just has waffle racer 2x on the tongue of the shoe which is the name it has nike across the tongue and pink and white the back of the shoe it just has this suede and it also is going along the eyelets of the laces this um it's like a pink suede color it's a really nice pretty color also i don't know if i mentioned these are the desert berry waffle um nike waffles so that's like the name that they're dubbed and berry obviously signifying the pink color but this is just basically i like pink <laughs> um the swoosh of the shoe which i really like it's orange so it kind of pops out off the shoe like it's not like any colors that you would normally see together like you would normally see like pink orange white and green and stuff together and also the tan at the bottom so i like that as well i like that the midsole of the shoe here it kind of has like a glossy like kind of sheen to it it's not like shiny or anything but it just has like a nice finish to it if you get what i'm saying the end of the shoe, the heel of the shoe, I like how it comes like to a point. So it's not like a basic, you know, 
flat surface it does like come up so that's cool the sole of the shoe basically is a gum bottom and it has these little bitty squares all over it to signify the waffles if i'm not mistaken um this was made using a waffle iron um back in the 70s nice touch and design that to know that this is something that they were creating in the 70s and now we're in 2020 like that's just so cool to me the style number that is the number um 3793750 that was the original style number of the original waffle trainer so it all is like kind of you know coming together coming full circle if you get what i'm saying the shoe is basically an inside out design the detailing on the shoe is really cool as well it makes the shoe to me more breathable i noticed that when i was wearing my off-white waffles way going around the tongue it actually is detached just making it look kind of uh, you know a bit exaggerated now to the insole of the shoe it does have like this liner the lining of the shoe it's kind of like a terry cloth fabric so like you know like using a towel like a terry cloth fabric towel that's what it looks like and that's what it feels like it's very soft and i can just picture the shoe being very comfortable you just have Nike on the back of it, and you also have the Nike sign there. Right across the front tab of the shoe, you do have this little peak of green. It's like a Kelly green, and um, that doesn't really add too, too much to the design of the shoe. You have the exposed zigzags here. Um, like so basically the whole shoe is like an exposed shoe and all the linings and different things of that nature This is the box if you can remember it. It's very similar to the box that I just showed you Um, if you feel a little dust on it, don't mind it <laughs> But um, yeah, so this is basically the exact same type of shoe just a different type of shoe These are the off-white shoes. So these are both like waffle type shoes. Um, this one actually looks a little bit smaller but I mean, basically it's the exact same size shoe. You can see like it has the exact same silhouette. It's just a couple differences. Of course, this one has the um, spiking detailing on the bottom. It definitely gives like a cleat feel. And this one just has like the waffle. So I'm sure walking in these, I will probably feel like the little indentations. Um, just like I felt the grooves walking in these, but these were super comfortable and I really liked it. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show a comparison of the shoe. Real quick, the shoe does receive for a hundred dollars and that's just going to bring us to the end of this video i want to show these side by side because just like my thing and i do it every video so why not do it on this one this is the sole y'all know i'm a sucker for gum bottom shoes i always have them my whole entire life i probably probably will continue to be it but um yeah and as always remember to like comment subscribe and share thank you for watching and i will see you next friday